Welcome back to Chem with Go. Today we'll take a look at isotope notation, and this helps us determine the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons for a specific nuclide of an element. And a nuclide is just an atom of, a, of one type of element. Let's look at hydrogen and one of its isotopes, and this happens to be one of the rare ones, and this is called tritium. Tri T. Now, if you can remember uh, what, uh, where it's referenced in any one of the Spider-Man movies, I'll give you extra credit uh, in the lecture. All right. Now, there happens to be, other than the element symbol, two numbers. This one right here, okay, on the lower left-hand corner, and this one right here on the upper left-hand corner. Now, that lower left-hand corner in red, that's the atomic number. Atomic number. And what that does, it tells us the number of protons. And remember that a proton is a positive particle that's inside the nucleus of an atom. And then that number on the upper left-hand corner is known as the mass number. Mass number. And what that does is it tells us the number of protons, but it also tells us the number of neutrons at the same time added together. Okay. Now, uh, the way we do this in class, and the way we identify this, usually what we do is we put number of protons, number of neutrons, and then number of electrons. All right, now the easiest one to identify would be the number of neutrons. All we would have to do is subtract these two numbers. So 3 minus 1, the number of neutrons gives us 2. And the number of protons, we know, that would just be 1. Okay, and that's from the atomic number. And an interesting thing is there is no indication of a charge present within this nuclide. So what that means is the number of electrons happens to be the same as the number of protons because it's a neutral nuclide. So number of protons and number of electrons would be equal, so that means that's a 1. So that's a very simple uh, explanation on isotope notation. Again, the atomic number is the lower left-hand corner that tells us the number of protons. And the mass number tells us the number of protons and neutrons. In the next isotope notation video, we'll take a look at a little bit more complicated uh, nuclide. And I'll see you then.